Hey Periscope, good morning. I'm Will Gans with ABC News Digital, and I am here with the man of the morning. <laughs> snacking oh no. on cheese. Oh no, I'm It's so National sorry. Junk Food Day. I'm eating entirely too healthy food. I mean, I've got Sweet. apples and grapes. Can we get some Pringles Whole up in here? Yeah, like, this is ridiculous. Well, let's this is get ridiculous. Something. Okay, there. Let's, let me see. What is the first ingredient? A word I can't pronounce. Vin junk food. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> Keegan Michael Key in the house this morning. How are you, man? Well, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm Thanks real for good. being here this morning. Good. All right. We need to talk about Don't Think Twice. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's it comes out it. tomorrow. Yes. It's about an improv group. Yes. Tell me about your character and how you came, acro uh, came across the script. Okay, so my character's name is Jack Mercer, and he is a member of this improv troupe in New York City in this, uh, at this improv theater. Tight-knit group. They all love each other. They came out together in the improv scene, and then he gets a shot to audition for a Saturday Night Live type of show, and he gets the job. So then the rest of his people in this crew don't get the job. And so the rest of the movie is kind of them navigating how, what the what the new changes, what the new landscape of their relationship is going to be. And I came across the script because my agent um, and the creator, Mike Perviglia, he wrote it, he directed it, he stars in it, he produced it. Um, they, uh, we, we have the same agent, and he the script came across my desk, and I said, and I said, now you know we've been talking about me taking time off. I'm not going to do anything else for the rest of the year. Right. And he said, okay, I just want you to read this script. And I said, no, like, like seriously. I gotta be crying, like I have to be on the ground in a <laughs> fetal position for me yep. to do this yeah. thing. And he said, he said, okay, well, I just think he's a very talented guy. Give it a read. I give it a read. Fetal position. So I, it was just touching. It was heartwarming. It was good natured. It was dark. It was hilarious. It was sad. It had everything in it. And I, I supposed to. I had a Skype conference with with Mike, and it was supposed to be 15 minutes long. It was two hours. <laughs> His wife came out on the corner and said, "Who are you talking to?" <laughs> like it is there. And so I, it was. A, it was a done deal. It was a no brainer. I had to do it. That is. So you got out of the fetal position. Yes. And went, got out yeah. there. Finished shooting my other movie. Went home for a little bit. Cracked it. Did some stretches. Did a little bit of this. <laughs> Tony. A little bit of that. And then uh, popped in a plane. Flew. To, flew here to New York City. And then made the movie. And it was amazing. And you spent some time uh, in Chicago at Second City. I did. Uh, I did. Yeah. In, in your previous, uh, in the past, in, my, in a previous incarnation. How it's close does art imitate life? You know, with that kind of thing. This movie may as well be a documentary. Yeah. It may as well be documentary because between the Chicago scene and the New York scene, the, the, two, the two improv scenes, um, everybody knows each other and they all know the stories. And lots of these stories uh, inspired the film. So when you see this movie, you, you're pretty much seeing some version of every single person's story. Yeah. The people who work their whole lives tire tirelessly and they never make it. The um, the people who are completely content to just be an artist, don't want to be famous, mm -hmm. that, that character's in there. Everybody who's from this scene is in, is in the movie. Yeah. And the common bond though, like when you do improv, you have to be totally vulnerable with your group. Right, right. Because you're on stage and you totally rely on them. Exactly, exactly. So, I mean, I can't imagine. Your character must be in such a tricky position because... Right. Yeah. Well, because show business is the opposite of improvisation. The thing is you're taught, you're taught, do everything you can to support the, your fellow actor. Do everything you can to make your fellow actor look good. And then you find out that the producers of the show are in the audience. And mm -hmm. now, you, how do you go, I'm here! Yeah. And support you at the same time. Right. And my character makes, when you see the movie, makes a very interesting decision. And um, and it reaps dividends for him. Yeah. But how is he now supposed to relate to the rest of the group? It's sure. it's so hard. That's yeah. such. But it's such a brilliant idea yeah, for a script. It, it really is. That's... It really is. And and he he had no choice because he's been so passionate. Mike Berbiglia has been so passionate about improv improvisation for the majority of his adult life. He's been improvising since he was in college. Mm -hmm. And this was a it's it's a love letter to improv, but the whole movie's also a love letter to what does it mean to live a life when you drastically see your dreams shift. I mean, and, and I was talking to um, a very good friend with Jake Johnson from New Girl, and, yeah. he, and I both came up in Chicago. He was at the Improv Olympic and me in Second City. Uh -huh. And I, I, he was quoted as saying, quoted in, in my mind. <laughs> Just, he didn't say it's a, it's a famous quote. Was not, I have nothing to fear, I have a fear. No. And um, he, said, he said, it's really brutal when your dream comes true for somebody else. Wow. When you watch your dream come true for another person. And he's had this experience. That's unbelievable. Yeah, That's yeah. so exciting. So the movie comes out here in New York City tomorrow. Uh, Los Angeles on the 29th, uh, and other selected cities across the country on the 5th of August. All right. Yeah. Well, we're all looking forward to it. Thank you so much thank for you, being Will. here this thanks morning. For coming. Tony, thank you, buddy. Tony, thank behind you. the camera. Periscope, thanks <laughs> for watching. Um, I'm getting a stank eye from your producer, Alana, which means that you probably, probably. you probably have a national television program to do in a I couple of minutes. Know. 
Well, I mean, let's just stay here. And the, oh, no? Alana? Yeah. Oh, she's going to... Okay, okay. Let, we'll let the, the TV. Let the execs know that, yeah, we're a little busy. <laughs> Very important. Yeah, yeah. Periscope's important. Periscope okay. is important, Alana. It's, all right, thanks so much, Thank you, guys. Take care. Um, Periscope, I'm going to bring you this way if you guys want to come along. Uh, for a little ride. Um, do we have time to go downstairs? We do. You tell me. All right, perfect. So uh, again, for those of you who may just be hopping on board the Periscope train with us, uh, our first stop was Keegan-Michael Key, and he uh, is starring in the new movie, uh, Don't Think Twice. It comes out here in New York tomorrow, and he just gave you all the dates. Uh, LA next week uh, after that nationwide, um, and we're excited for that. And he's going to be here this morning, and he's going to be playing a fun game um, down on set with Jesse Palmer. I wanted to play an improv game with him, too, because believe it or not, I did improv once. Um, <laughs> that was an improv improvised song, for those of you who can't tell. Um, but So that's Keegan-Michael Key of Key and Peel, for those of you who know. Hello to our audio folks. <laughs> Um, super enthusiastic. Uh, but we want to go downstairs. Selena is carrying our tray of very delicious and not so nutritious junk food because today is National Junk Food Day. Uh, and we're going to go make some special deliveries on set. Uh, and I want to swing by and just make sure that we have time for Sarah. Hey! How's it going? Thanks for coming. Good morning, morning, America. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> um, so let's see. I think <coughs> I'm gonna duck my volume here for a second. Let's see what we can look at in here. We're doing a parry. You're live on parry, both of you. Oh my gosh, I have to be next. You have to. Hey, Will. It's not. It's no longer a periscope. It's now a Sarahscope. As it should be. Um, you brought junk food. I bought something very. Don't look for Is it a, a ring pop? No, I think I saw it because I know that rapper from a mile away. It better I, have be a, I have a microphone in my ear, and I can hear our production from Cleveland. So I don't know what oh, we're saying. You have to go, but before you but do, this is this, you have to be able to talk while someone's talking in your ear all the time. So you just kind of nod your head a lot, sip your tea. You think this is tea? <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, on National oh, Junk Food Day. Oh my gosh, my fat finger did not again. <laughs> I think it's probably because the candy's made for like a four year old. I'm swollen. No, you're ah. not. You're beautiful. Two I... fingers, two rings. What? Oh. Jesse, what's your favorite junk food? Okay, can I wear this? Sure. Can I eat it? Yeah, yes. I'll make that. So Sarah has actual television to do. Jesse, you also have national television to do. But more importantly, it's National Junk Food Day. Yes. What is your go-to junk food? Cho anything chocolate. We have any chocolate? Yes, we do. That's all right. Ooh. Snack mix. I could, I could smash that. Good choice. Smash, smash that. that all on the floor. Smash, smash that. that. Give, Give me some, some more. Smash, smash that. that. Do you get... Smash that. Oh, smash that. Do <laughs> so you see what happens when all of our bosses are at uh, the Republican National Convention? Yeah, it's the kids start playing. When, when the cats are away, the mice will play. That's pretty much what happens. I've never Becca? heard that. Is that a what Canadian? did I just walk like, into? <laughs> that's like two in a row. That's like two. You've never heard that? I've, I've never heard you say that. I've never actually heard you sing. That yeah, was pretty uh, impressive. You know I played football, and I've maybe once or twice been on a dance floor. Maybe... <laughs> A man of many talents. Dude, dude, yeah, uh, a renaissance man. What was that about today? Say. Well, that was a... That, it was a listen, it, it, it's 8.35, as you can see. This is, we never get to do this. Will never gets to come down here. Conversation at the table. I know. And we're all wearing like so kind of happy. similar colors. We all got the blue. The two of you are, too. We're all... The blue. I'm still like that. The yeah. blue fam. No, you can have the chair because... It's okay. I'll be a gentleman. No. Are no. you sure? Yeah, okay. Tracy. Thank you. Uh, Thank Rebecca you. Jarvis. Today is National Junk Food Day. Fabulous. Both of you look like you rarely partake, but not true. What is your go-to junk food snack? Chipotle. Ooh, junk food. <laughs> well, I don't know if you. Oh, you mean junk food? Like, well, like, like I was literal. thinking fast food. Like you're on an airplane. Wait a minute. And the okay. Well, if it's Skittles, I only want the red ones. Preach. If it's Lifesavers, I only want the red ones. <laughs> Where are the gummy bears? I only want the red ones. <laughs> I haven't done Twinkies in a long time. I haven't either. Well, there's no expiration date on those, so whenever you That's want good. to go to them. <laughs> That's good. There's. Uh, right. Didn't they do something like they sat a Twinkie out for like 11 years? 
And it looks <laughs> identical <laughs> after the decade. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's how you know all the ingredients what are really... What was your go-to? I picked chocolate. I picked chocolate. 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 <laughs> but, I'm, but America, I'm sweet Did enough. You... <laughs> this is exciting. I never saw this guy before. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything for everyone in here. How about you? I said pizza, but then Sarah told me that that doesn't really count as a junk food, which like... We were on the same wavelength there. Yeah. So I Chipotle, actually... though, is like a, is a restaurant chain. Yeah. Like you, you, sort of, you sort of broaden the, the, the spectrum. You learn there. something new every day on Facebook Live, You sure you? do. When the cats are away, the mice, the mice will play. <laughs> and you're, you're watching that happen right now. Right now. Oh, you know what I love? I love chips and salsa. Tortilla chips and salsa, that's like a big one. That's like my gateway like drug. Like if I have one chip and salsa... Impossible. To stop. I can't Absolutely. Stop. If you have one chip and salsa, you're, you're smashed in like 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I will, it'll be a weird night. I have one chip and salsa. It's a gateway, it's a gateway junk food. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Exactly. All right, well, we will sign off of Periscope for now. Happy National Junk Food Day. Thanks for talking. That's a good period.